Welcome to Electron Online and in this video we're going to take a look at annuities and how they're affected by the interest rate. It turns out that of course the interest rates when the interest rates are higher you earn a lot more money in annuity but it's actually a lot more than you would think. Every time the interest rate goes up the amount you can earn goes up a lot more and so let's take a look here. So we're going to calculate the future value of an annuity. Again the payment is made at the end of each period. Typically you get paid on the paycheck after two weeks and you take some money out for the annuity. Let's assume that we take out $200 every two weeks. Let's assume that you retire at age 65 and that you started saving at age 25 so you had a 40-year period to save for your retirement. And here's the equation. So when we plug in the numbers and we start out by using a 4% interest rate, then we'll go to 6%, 8%, and 10%. So we'll do four scenarios. I have on the board the first three scenarios. I'm out of room for the fourth one, so we'll just kind of do it by hand. And so here, when we plug all the numbers in, notice the rate is starts at 4%, goes to 6%, goes to 8%. So let's calculate how much money you would have in your savings account after 40 years of saving with a rate of 4%, $200 every two weeks. All right. So we start with 0 0.04 divided by 26, and we add 1 to that. Then we raise that to the 26 times 40th power. So that's 26 times 40. We subtract 1 from that. We then divide by this quantity, which is the same as multiplying times this inverse, so times 26 divided by 0 0.04, and then we'll multiply times the bi-weekly pay of $200. And the amount of money you'd have in the bank after 40 years would be $513,103, oh, but that should be a period, and let's see here, and two cents. All right, so a half a million dollars in the bank after 40 years, all you have to do is put, out, put $200 in the bank every two weeks. All right, what if the rate was 6%? So we do the same calculation, so 0.06, divided by 26 plus 1, raise that to the 26 times 40 power, subtract 1 from that, minus 1, then divide by this, which is the same as multiply times the inverse, so times 26 divided by 0 0.06, and multiplying that times 200. So after 40 years, you would have in the bank, eight hundred and sixty six thousand thirty seven dollars and forty three cents wow quite an improvement more than no nope, not quite more than double but going from four percent to six percent is a significant increase in the amount of money in the bank you would have what if you could earn an, a rate of eight percent if you do the right investments have the right advice do all the right things and you start earning eight percent on your investment of course, typically they don't put the money in the bank, they'll put it in bonds and stocks, and if it's wisely invested, you could earn 8% over a 40 year period. So how much money would you have after 40 years? So now we go 0 0.08 divided by 26 plus one. Raise that to the 26 times 40 power, subtract one from that, and then we divide that by 0 0.08 divided by 26. Of course, we multiply times the inverse, 26 divided by 0 0.08, and we multiply that times 200. So if you could earn 8% for 40 years and putting just $200 per week aside from your paycheck, you would have in the bank $1,521,799.32. Wow, you can see the pattern. What do you think will happen if you could earn 10%? Now 10% is not usual, although some people do manage. If the money is invested correctly in the right stocks and the, the right things are happening, you could earn 10% of your money. If you do that for 40 years with just putting $200 per week aside on your paycheck, how much would it be? So for scenario four, when we have 10%, so we're going to change the 0 0.08 to 0 0.1 and see what we get. So we've got 0 0.1 divided by 26, add 1 to that, raise that to the 26 times 40 power, Subtract one from that, divide by point 0.1 divided by 26, so multiply times the inverse, so times 26 divided by point 0.1 and multiply that times 200. And when you do that, you would have in the bank, scenario four at 10%, you would have $2,765,400. 
$403.72. Well, you know what? That's quite a savings account for retirement. You would have no problems, at least with your money, if you retire at 65 with that kind of money in the bank. So finding the right investments, getting the right return of interest can make a big difference in how much money you end up with finally when you retire. But the whole key is, of course, starting early and having that long period of savings over 40 years and just see what kind of savings account you can have when you're ready to retire at age 65. And that's how we do that.